Hello, my lovely Venezuelan poodle butterflies, which is actually a legit animal. Just take a look how cute this thing is. And this has no... This has nothing to do with this next replay. Let's just let's just remove this picture and let's be done with it. So, KV-5, one of the oldest preferential tanks. I mean, tanks with preferential matchmaking, what does that mean? It's only saw tier 9s, maximum tier 9s, and most of the times you played versus tier 7s, maybe tier 6s. And Wargaming's latest idea is to remove the preferential matchmaking. And two reasons why they are going to change the whole system and everything. One is because of the queue times uh, when you're playing a preferential match uh, tank right now. They claim that it takes long to actually get into a battle and that's why they're going to try to remove the preferential matchmaking starting with the KB-5 which is one of the oldest preferential tanks in the game. Two, because they're obsolete. I think it's primarily because number two, well, it is a welcome change because I have a couple of preferential tanks. Uh, in my garage and they're just collecting dust because they are obsolete i mean this kv5 currently in this form has 167 penetration with regular ap doing 300 damage and only 219 penetration with apcr again doing 300 damage as a high tank now it's good if you're in a tier 6 tank i mean tier 6 matchmaking like this but in this ever since patch 9 points I don't know was it 18 or 81 i don't know don't really know which patch is it correct me well the preferential tanks got well they got fucked in the ass without a condom because well a couple of new tanks enter the whole scene like the scorpion getting hit for 500 must be fun the Patriot being the Hulldown King. Then you have the Defender, which is like the best tier 9 Russian medium tank. And so, and the list goes on. I mean, there are a lot of tier 8 premiums and non-premium tanks that are so much better than this one. And if you're playing the KV-5 in this patch, it's mostly gonna be versus tier. It's gonna be a lot of full tier 8 games and some tier 9 games. Tier 9 tanks are gonna chew you up for breakfast and then shit you out like the scum you are. So, they're gonna revamp the whole preferential tanks and the whole system, getting rid of it and just buffing them out. So you'll be able to play versus tier 10s in the future, which is hooray! Woohoo! I'm so fucking happy! Yeah! Woo! And like I said, they're gonna start with the KV-5 being one of the oldest tanks with preferential matchmaking. The other one that I can think of is Type 59. I don't know which one was the first, I think it was this one doesn't matter but basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna they're gonna up the damage per minute instead of 2300 you're gonna get 25 or I, I don't know it was 2100 right now so you're gonna get a little bit more damage with shot which means instead of doing 300 damage per shot you're gonna do 330 <laughs> after they're gonna finish testing and implementing these changes they're gonna buff the penetration with standard AP to 218 which is like 51 millimeters of, uh, of change they're also gonna buff the premium shell penetration by 24 millimeters and it's going to be 243 so the gun is going to be a little bit better it shoots quite fast and um, they're also going to increase the frontal armor especially this r2d2 cupola which was like the number one weak spot this thing every time every time you got hit over here the radio man would die in agony and get a nosebleed or whatever pretty much they're gonna buff the frontal tank to like 200 or i mean 190 on the cupola on the top 220 on the mantlet and so on and so on radio man the r2d2 turret is gonna have 200 millimeters of armor which is going to guarantee some bounces but don't be sure it's still a side scraping beast and the only thing that's going to get nerfed are the rear sides of the turret and rear sides of the tank so if you're gonna get shot in the ass you're not going to have a good time i mean the tank is already slow 
And I think KV-5 drivers like to do... I think their favorite thing to do is probably get some momentum, like driving down some hill and then ramming someone. I think that's like the best thing to do this time. So overall, they're gonna get rid of the preferential matchmaking tanks. I say that's a good change because I have, like I said, I have a few... I, I'm not even sure if I said it. I have a few tanks with preferential matchmaking in my garage that are just collecting dust, which is like the IS-6. The Super Pershing. Super Pershing got buffed a little bit, but it's still not that good. And then um, the FCM is literal trash. It's just a trash tank. VZ111 and, and on and on and on. The list goes on. So, I don't know. These changes are... Huh, well, in my in my book, they are kind of welcome because, well, I'm gonna get to play with old tanks again. So, let's check the damage, and we're gonna talk more. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk things out. Let's share your feel. Share me your feelings. Come on, how are you doing today? How was work, honey? So yeah, basically, I went to bot replace and found a good KV5 replay because, well, let's face it, nobody plays this tank. I mean, not a lot of people play it, and not a lot of people get good replays, and they don't. They, I didn't. I don't think I ever got one KV5 replay. And yeah, I just got it from this LP guy. Thanks for playing so good, I guess. And if we go quickly over the match, he did a lot of damage. It, it was like the perfect matchmaking for him. But don't be fooled. Most of the time it's going to be versus T-Rates, which are going to rape you left and right. Now he got an Ace Tanker, a Radley Walter, a Pascucci Steel Wall, which is nice, high caliber, and a Top Gun. In the end, almost 1600 base experience, 9 frags, and 4600 damage. And the credits are also not that bad if this guy was running a premium account, 155k, or without it, 92, which is also pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Now again, they're trying to get rid of the preferential matchmaking, which is good. I would really love to play some of the old tanks, especially the IS-6. I think IS-6 was the... Yeah, yeah, the IS-6 was my first premium tank that I actually bought with my credit card. Most of the tanks, like the FCM, the Super Pershing, the VZ, some of those I got via marathons, competitions, uh, and just straight up buying them with in-game gold that we earned with Clan War. So, if they buff the tanks nicely, if they do it properly, which I think they're gonna do with the Russian tanks, not sure about the rest of the tanks, and it's good. I get to play the old premium tanks again, and uh, I wish them all the best. I hope they won't fuck up like they fucked up many, many things, especially the chat. Holy shit, how the fuck did you manage to fuck that up so badly? And the friends list, everybody was suddenly your friend that sent you a friend request. So, well, that's it. Uh, Let's hope, I really hope they're gonna nail this one because this game is, it's really fun to play. And I really, I really want like a positive thing, like something that's changed towards the positive side. So, hashtag believe, I don't know. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.